你好，朋友，今天我们打开这个盒子，请享受看电影。我是 Olympian Gamers， and today we're unboxing this next War Games Atlantic set. Aesthetically, I feel that Peter Dennis's artwork is here somewhat overwhelmed by a large abundance of white space. The War Games Atlantic boxes all share a minimalist art style, and I feel that this could be somewhat improved for future releases. Especially when compared to Perry Miniatures or North Star offerings. Upon lifting the sprues out of the box, we notice that there are six identical sprues in this set. Unlike previous War Games Atlantic sets, such as the Conquistadors or even the World War II Italians, there is no sprue two on this with separate、um, additional weapons, heads, and command options. I'll try to present the positive aspects of this set first, and then dwell on some of the negatives or criticisms. But I do think it's unfortunate that there are only six shields in the box. So if you wanted to create a unit armed with shields, it would have to be a very small one. When we take a closer look at the sprue, we see that there are indeed a wealth of options. Traditional Chinese melee weapons sit alongside modern rifles. There are options for bare head as well as hat covered heads, 14 in total, and a huge range of different、um, cues or ponytails. I'll talk about these later on because when I look at the figures, they really do add to the three-dimensionality of them. Again, picking across the, the set, we can see tridents, spears, Chinese swords, glaives, all kinds of weapons which were fielded by late Qing troops and especially by the boxers.、Um, there are five bodies per sprue, and I think we're going to have to look at those in more detail to talk about what I really like about this set. Now, I mentioned the Boxer Rebellion, and this is clearly what this set is produced for. There's already an extant、um, variety of European and colonial troops, but this is the first time that the Boxer opposition, which was extremely numerous and should be deployed as a kind of horde against against Western troops, has been depicted in plastic. One of the bodies has a kind of civilian smock or apron, and is really quite suitable for depicting a boxer. The other four have、um, the same kind of jacket, which closes at the right shoulder. Um, although this is traditional part of the Hanfu or Chinese costume,、um, it also has resemblance to the Qing military uniforms. So you could use these as regular troops, or as、um, men in military uniform who have deserted and joined joined the boxers. Now I've included here some photos. These are actually、um, the closest you possibly will find to relics of the the boxer conflict in modern China.、Um, and again, this is graffiti left by、um, particularly by the Russian troops. Now I've chosen to put together this figure here. If you're not interested in doing colonial war games with this figure,、um, I could see him in a, in a Wild West setting or even、um, in a fantasy setting. A really versatile miniature. Now, I personally will be hoping to use these、um, for a range of settings, and I really like the fact that they immediately speak to quite a kind of traditional trope of, of Chinese kind of.、Um, You know, melee weapons, martial arts specialists. This figure with the trident here could be used in a Pirates of the Caribbean setting.、Um, huge variety of different options. Unfortunately, there is one big downside to this set, and that's its depiction of missile weapons. There are two rifles and one brim-handled Mauser, but none of the domestically produced Chinese matchlocks or Chinese flintlock pistols,、uh, which were widely available at the time. Additionally. I've mentioned this elsewhere, but there's a real problem with this sprue having too many options, but not enough variety within those options. So there are two different kinds of rifles: one pistol, one knife, one trident. So you're going to end up with a lot of clones or a lot of very similar-looking figures, which kind of goes some way to countering that、um, kind of civilian mob if they're all in the same pose with the same weapon. But I think we can excuse that a little bit. Looking at the sprue as well, one of the other problems I found is there's no、um, webbing or cartridge boxes,、um, and there's no holsters or scabbards or sheaths for any of these weapons.、Um, and there's no sort of pistols tucked into belts or anything like that. So I think we'll have to look elsewhere and do some kick bashing here. Now, before anyone thinks that I've completely lost sense of lost you know, taking leave of my senses, I'm actually going to go to the Stargrave box set. These North Star Stargrave figures are a great source of parts and components. Um, they always like to add more pieces than than you actually need for the bodies. And what I'll be doing is taking this、um, broom-handled Mauser 
stock here, and also some of this webbing, um, some of these pouches. Now the first miniature, this is obviously the, the stock. Um, I did originally planned to add these to this miniature, but the rifle is quite tight to the body and it's quite difficult to actually fit on the pouches in the right places. So instead I fitted them to this miniature in the firing pose. So I now have three Qing soldiers um, for the boxers. These would either be men that have deserted the army and joined the boxer group, or which were either sent against the boxers or were um, deployed against the Allied forces at um, Snetson. Um, in conclusion, I like this box set a lot. Um, this is something that's not really been touched by other manufacturers or engaged with them in any way. And it's something where you're going to need a large horde of quite expendable troops, and that's what makes this plastic perfect. Previously, the box has been available in metal from some companies, not many. Um, and I think by having this, this set, you can easily bulk out large hordes. Um, again, it's, it's quite a sort of chaff or fodder army, but I think it's one which is, is well represented by this kit, despite the kit's shortcomings. Also, kit bashing with things like uh, the Afghan troops they already produce. Um, and other, maybe even some of the medieval troops that you might have should be enough to get rid of some of those repet repetitive sculpts. I plan to add spears from some of the Dark Age kits um, and kind of mix and match across manufacturers and ranges. Once again, please don't forget to check out Instagram where there's painted examples of these models, as well as you know, please uh, like and subscribe. Leave below any comments if you've got anything you'd like to add. As always, see you next time. Zai Jian.